Test, mic test.
I test. Test, mic test. Mic test. Good morning. Let us begin our novena. Accurate mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. the land of our birth. We pray for all nations that peace be on earth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection, and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Mary Immaculate, star of the morning, chosen before the creation began, destined to bring through the light of your dawning, conquest of Satan and rescue to man. Been from your throne at the voice of our crying. Look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. Sinners on, or your sinless perfection, fallen and weak, for God's mercy we plead. Grant us the shield of your mighty protection. Measure your aid by the depth of our need. Bent from your throne 
At the voice of our crying, look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for all the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest mother, Help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind the husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we specially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us. That we may prepare like you for the coming of Christ. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. 
that we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. We pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of thee? I do not sigh for the wealth of earth, for the joys that fade and flee, but Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I long to see. The bliss untold which your arms enfold, the treasure upon your knee. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, I toss on a stormy sea. Oh, lift your child as a beacon light to the port where I fain would be. And Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I ask of thee. When the voyage is o'er, oh, stand on the shore and show him at last to me. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. 
It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual health. May the countless favors we have received through our intercession, and especially through the Novena, inspire us to greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick, especially. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us begin our morning praise. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount on, of all wisdom. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people the flock, his shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Forty years I endured that generation, I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Rise up, O men of God, have done with lesser things. Give heart and soul and mind and strength to save the King of kings. Rise up, O men of God, his kingdom tarries long. Bring in the day of brotherhood and end the night of wrong. Rise up, O men of God, the church for you does wait. Sent forth to serve the needs of men, in Christ our strength is great. Lift high the cross of Christ, tread where his feet have trod. As brothers of the Son of Man, rise up, O men of God. O God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God, that he may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God, and I groaned. I pondered, and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled. I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago and remembered the years long past. At night, I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favor no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? Does God forget his mercy, or in anger withhold his compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your powers, you showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The skies sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled. When your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? Father, you established your ancient covenant by signs and wonders, but more wondrously, you confirmed the new one through the sacrifice of your Son. Guide your church through the pathways of life, that we may be led to the land of promise and celebrate your name with lasting praise. My heart leaps up with the joy with joy to the Lord, for he humbles only to exalt us. My heart exalts in the Lord, my horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies, I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, there is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, O God, who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering geared on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. 
he casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness, for not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt in the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My heart lifts up with joy to the Lord, for he humbles only to exalt us. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice, and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Father, you clothe the sky with light and the depths of the ocean with darkness. Among the sons of men, you work wonders and rain terror upon the enemy. Look upon your servants. Do not try us by fire, but bring us rejoicing to the shelter of your home. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Simply I learned about wisdom, and ungrudgingly do I share. Her riches I do not hide away. For to men she is an unfailing treasure. Those who gain this treasure with a friendship of God, to whom the gifts they have, they have from discipline, commend them. Let the peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Let the peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. With joyful praise, let the church te tell forth the wisdom of the saints. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let the people proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Those who learned, those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. 
born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Those who, Those who are, are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Blessed be God, our Savior, who promised to remain with his church all days until the end of the world. Let us give him thanks and call out, Remain with us, Lord. Remain with us, Lord. <clears throat> remain with us the whole day, Lord. Let your grace be a sun that never sets. Remain with us, Lord. We dedicate this day to you as an offering. Do not let us offer anything that is evil. Remain with us, Lord. May your gift of light pervade this whole day, that we may be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Remain with us, Lord. May the love of your Holy Spirit direct our hearts and our lips, and may we always act in accordance with your will. Remain with us, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, you made Saint Ambrose an outstanding teacher of the Catholic faith, and gave him the courage of an apostle. Raise up in your church more leaders after your own heart, to guide us with courage and wisdom. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Good morning. Let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Or forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Morning Offering O Jesus, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, the reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all our parishioners, and in particular for the intentions of our Holy Father for this month. We pray that volunteer nonprofit organizations committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out the new paths to inter international cooperation. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Ratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. 
Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint James the Great, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Ambrose, Bishop and Doctor. Saint Ambrose was born of a Roman family at Trier about the year 340. He studied at Rome and served in the imperial government of Sirmium in 374 while living in Milan. He was elected bishop of the city by popular acclaim and ordained on December 7. He devotedly carried out his duties and especially distinguished himself by his service to the poor and as an effective pastor and teacher of the faithful. He strenuously guarded the laws of the church and defended orthodox teaching by writings and actions against the Arians. He died on Holy Saturday, April 4, 397. Let us welcome our presiding priest, Father Joseph Landero. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. As we begin this Eucharistic celebration, let us be sorry for all our shortcomings. Together, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my God, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage. Raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through her Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting. For the weak, weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youths stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings, they will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, as we continue with our Advent pilgrimage and with the many duties, responsibilities that we do every day as part of our earthly ex existence, let us go back to our gospel today and let us take heed of what Jesus told the crowds. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. These are words that can be very comforting very consoling and a timely reminder for all of us never to forget to surrender everything to the Lord when we find life a bit 
burdensome with the responsibilities that we have in life. I used to remember a time when I was studying theology. I had to take a short course in UST. So I was taking the LRT. And from Baclaran, take the LRT before reaching Carriedo. Siyempre puno yung tren, daming tao, siksikan. I used to remember in one building, there's a big signage. And it says, look up. May nakalagay, young man, look up. And it always allows me to settle down, to remember, to always have time for the Lord, to always spend time to pray because it is the Lord who can give us true rest. The rest that Jesus offers is His own yoke, which consists in trusting the Father and obeying His will in all circumstances. Taking on this yoke entails learning from Jesus, from His meekness, from His humility of heart. And so, let us trust in the Father as Jesus also trusted in the Father. And may we grow in this so that despite our being busy, we can always find rest in the Lord, never forgetting our time with Him our prayer, and deepening always our relationship with Him. Naalala ko yung isang lay person na nakausap ko. It's always her practice to pray, begin the day praying, meditating on God's Word. Kaya pag nakaligtaan niya yun, alam niya may kulang. Hindi siya mapakali. Hindi siya at peace. And that's the reason why when she would also travel abroad, the first thing she would look for is Stay in hotel nearest to the church. Kung saan yung simbahan, yun ang kanyang, yung kanyang criteria. And so, once she would stay in that hotel, una niyang pupuntahan yung simbahan. At once, she would feel at ease, comforted, consoled, that the Lord is always with her, accompanying her. We stand for the intercessions. The Lord is our shepherd, and He tells us, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Confident of this promise, we now present to Him our needs. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may guide us in the ways of peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are tempted to despair under the crushing weight of their problems may seek refuge in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are suffering from mental torment may find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those who are weighed down by bodily pain and illness may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to his guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of his peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
sa kapwang kapatid Bubunga ng buhay na iyong bigay Alay namin sa iyong pagdating Nabutihan pag-asa mga pusong tapat Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we pray as we celebrate the divine mysteries, may the Holy Spirit Fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for the day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we now proclaim the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also her brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died 
in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother of Perpetual Help, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we now pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O Lord, lead us who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament so as to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose that hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today we are on the third day of the Triduum. We are having the prayer in the evening Mass. I'd just like to ask for your prayers, even just one Hail Mary for tomorrow, because I will celebrate my 26th sacerdotal anniversary during the 7 o'clock Mass. I requested that Mass in the evening because the whole day I will spend time in a Marian shrine in Tanay to honor the Blessed Mother since tomorrow is the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. So kahit isang Hail Mary, malaking tulong po yan sa akin, yung dasal po ninyo, uh, para bukas. Kaya maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may Almighty God bless you and your intentions the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen let us go and glorify God by our lives thanks, thanks be, be to, to God, God.
Zempiter. 